best get it in. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good morning, United neighbors. Cody Mills and Johnny Allen here. About to get it in again. It is what day is it? It is Monday the sixth. Well, today is chest day. That's right. We're gonna do our best to do all our chest. You feel me? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> get it in. That's right. <sighs> all right. Do a little warm up set, gets good and stretched out. We do an incline dumbbell presses today. Ooh. Oh, that's on the whole board. Oh, yeah. Are you changing your diet? You going to the rice? Yeah, You're going, going to the, the rice. rice. I think couscous, kuchi, kuchi, whatever the hell it's called. What, what kind of beans were those you had? A little snack. Adamame. Adamame. Yeah. I'm about to try them out, man. Most protein they claim. Oh, your belly will let you know that. Don't worry, you didn't oh, pull yeah. while I find out. Right now, we're just getting a good stretch in. Uh, that's all I need right there. I think I'm gonna start doing like you do, Johnny. I think I'm about to start off light, work my way on up. You know? There you go. I don't know how heavy I can go, but I'm gonna go as best I can. Yeah, I'm not gonna go crazy heavy. I'm, I'm, I'll probably go start from the 50s and work my way up to the 60s. That's about it, you know, three sets. Yeah, old people problems. Well, thanks everybody for subscribing. We're up to yeah. eight this morning, bud. I think I'm right. Make, make, making a move in the right direction. I know we're not all swoked up like the competition. But, you know, when they're working out, they got needles hanging out their arms from their last injection. We don't, we don't do that. Nah, uh, we don't do that. No. When I was a kid, but, the doctor had to take me down and get a, give me a shot. <laughs> we do have someone later on that we're going to interview that had did do that. Was a bodybuilder. Oh, yeah. And he's going to tell us the issues and what happened to him when he really was into that. Yeah, we'll be going to a different gym for that, for that shoot yeah. too. We're going to travel a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's funny, man. When we, when we go to town, we turn on oh, a channel for our dog to watch called Dog TV. Well, yesterday, I'm at the house before we leave and it's on it's got squirrels running around and stuff like that for the dog and she's definitely watching it and all of a sudden they got a damn advertisement for a security system simply safe and i'm thinking what's the dog going to do come back home and say look you need to buy some security system when i get home right what the <laughs> never heard of such crap in my life security systems on dog tv well, <laughs> i'm guessing that some people just said oh let me watch dog tv I guess. No. <laughs> we can't get the dogs, but we can get the owners. I guess. He said they got had had credit card commercials on dog TV. Oh yeah, they got all kind of commercials on there. <laughs> Even dogs got. I mean, believe credit. me, my dog tells me every day when I come home. Roof, <laughs> <laughs> roof. I'm like, okay. You would think they'd have dog food commercials like you said, but no. Uh, no dog commercials, just credit cards and security systems. Yeah. Just in case the dog ain't doing his job, you know. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Some dogs are lazy, you know. They don't want to do security. Yeah, that's right, you know. <coughs> Believe me, somebody break into my house, that's the least thing they got to worry about. My dog's running for the heels. That's how much to be on top of the TV. Oh, Ooh, yeah. That weekend was good, but it wasn't long enough. Oh man, my butt hole was puckering. As long as I don't blow you a kiss. No, I don't have no peekaboo right now. <sighs> oh, the pump is getting serious already today. That's only set two. <sighs> Mm. 
Ooh. Like we done the rip. Good lord, I'm gonna breast break for a second. I'm tired already. I'm not going super heavy, but I am going heavier than I normally do, but I'm still maintaining a good rep range. I noticed my chest looks horrible and I look bloated like a Samoan in all of our videos. This thing right here has got to go. Yep, mine's going. It's just taking a while. It's got to go. I just want to be able to see the tip. Yeah, you just know? the tip, you know. It's getting depressing. Like you used to tell your girlfriend, just the tip, baby. I was just going to put the tip. Now we just like to see the tip. <laughs> You'd be, you'd be all the way with some women, they still be saying this, you know. That's right. Deeper, <laughs> deeper. If I go any deeper, my butthole would be inside. <laughs> if you still need to go deeper, fellas, and you're all the way in, you she ain't the one. That's right. <laughs> you might as well pack her up. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, my chest is feeling pumped like crazy after just two sets already. That, that is insane. <sighs> Mine too. I think it has a lot to do with my diet and eating only meat predominantly, you know, like yeah, well, when I'm getting gas really fast. That's why I think you're on something when it comes to eating that brown rice. Yeah, it uh if you want a couple of diet tips, check out Donnie's meal prep video. It's pretty good. <clears throat> pretty good. Maybe not even want to shoot another one. You got me. You got me, Johnny. Well, I didn't even put the dog in the video, man. Yeah, I try to do it all. You know? <laughs> Short, sweet, and to the point. That's what it needs to be. But yeah, next like week it. it's gonna be tilapia. Your video was so good, you got me want to switch my diet. <laughs> but that's it's done got so to where whenever tilapia loins used to be twelve dollars for three pounds, and that's nineteen. Hell yeah, everything's, just, everything's right. going up. They don't want you healthy, folks. That's why all stuff that's healthy costs so much more. And a lot of you times, know? that's why we're our meal preps are basically the same thing every day because we're trying to do it to where the average person can afford it you know yeah i ain't doing it so the average man can afford it exactly right i can't i just can't afford it my damn self. well i mean i went online <laughs> to see how much it would cost to have them done at 15 dollars a meal i'm thinking you know what i'll make my own yep <sighs> you got to do what you can afford people and there ain't nothing wrong with that they don't want you healthy they want you eating all that bad food so you can keep you in the pharmaceutical race you know We got this weight loss drug right here, but it'll give you the flying shit. Yeah, the magic drug. So we gotta give you this pill to fight that. You gotta eat 17 pills after every meal. Oh. Yeah. Right. And work out religiously. Okay, I gotta 17 drop hours a day. <laughs> Before you won't lose a pound. But take this magic pill. I do have to admit. For a Monday, I'm normally ready to go back to work. I just ain't feeling the work life today. Well, I mean, it's Monday. I'm struggling, man. I'm struggling. <laughs> well, this time change really has me off a little. All right. That was the third set. You want to drop this thing down flat and give that a go, or you want to go up more? I don't know. We can. I have to drop weight. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely dropping weight this go around. I got a good pump going already. So we, hit, we hit it high, so let's hit it low, and then we'll move on to our favorite part, the cables. Don't feel bad. At least I can do a little bit of weight. Yeah, it's getting better. Huh? Yeah. Good. We old folks, we fighting injuries all the time in here. Yeah. I have a physical demanding job sometimes. I'm, I'm, I've been fortunate and I'm not working in the office now. I've always worked outside with my hands. Johnny on the other hand, he'd be working like a Hebrew slave, bro. I better not say that with all the stuff going on in the world. Yeah, you might not. <laughs> and I think, you know, since I work out, I think I'm still young and dumb and full of vigor. Oh, yeah. So The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Right, bro. that's exactly right. <sighs> oh, yeah. Let's get this is good here. Definitely drop the weight down and just go around. Our goal is 35, 40, 50 rep. Ooh. Mm -mm. 
Getting it in, baby. Getting it in. Give you people out there, you find people with other view. Excuse me. All right. Bacon powder. <laughs> Let's get you over here. That's a lot better. <clears throat> But why are we killing ourselves? <sighs> the struggle is real today. Because I think that has a lot to do with my diet and not having carbs to fuel myself, you know? My body is using protein <clears throat> and whatever fats I have in the meats for energy yeah. right now. Also known as ketosis. Your body starts burning fat for energy instead of carbs. It's called ketosis. The only issue is it burns muscle too. Oh yeah, it does burn muscle. I noticed myself drinking short, slow, but that's why I said I'm gonna switch to what you eat and that brown rice and chicken look good. Yeah. I need to get a nice grill like you got. I don't have a nice grill, that's why I'm always cooking myself on the stove top. <sighs> that grill is beautiful, man. I've had it for a couple of years, man. I'm telling you, we used it. Is it wood, wood or propane? It is propane pellet. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, wood. Wood pellets, huh? Wood pellets, not propane, it's electric. Nice. But a bag of pellets lasts a while, dude. They need like it burns them up. And they're like $14 for 30 pounds. Oh, wow. Bolly world. Oh, I'm feeling that right in my pants. It's starting to burn already. Ooh, I feel it right in that tenderness. Uh -huh. Super sore, boy. Whew. I said it once, and I said it before, and I'll say it again. No more titties. Gotta get them titties gone. Whoa. Bail the belly <laughs> and trim the titties. Just so y'all know, we do hit abs once or twice a week hard. We'll come in here and do cardio and just abs. We just haven't filmed it because nobody wants to see us Doing crunches yeah. for an hour, you know. You know, you'd be on the ground grunting and farting and snorting and uh -huh. it's just not a pretty thing. I mean, it might look cool in slow motion with some heavy music behind it, but you don't want to hear what's really going on. Yeah, well, I mean, if y'all want to see it, we'll show it to you for yeah. sure. If you want to add video, drop a comment down below, let us know. Yeah. And we'll do one if you want one. <sighs> yeah, right there. Oh yeah, bro, look, I got to breathe for a second. My, my chest is already pumped up good. <clears throat> I can't wait to hit them cables. You gotta come in here and get yourself a good pump going, folks. That's what you want. Well, I had a pump in my belly going. I don't care if you're doing it with lightweight or heavyweight. As long as you get me the pump, that is what matters the most. <clears throat> oh, last set. And then we're on to our favorite spot. Once again, thanks to everybody watching and subscribing out there. It's a beautiful thing to see that people are interested in getting fit and doing it the right way. And all of y'all are welcome for the ride. Yeah. Don't miss another video. Hit that subscribe button down below. Damn right. Click that ding dong bell so you don't miss any upcoming uploads because we got we're, plenty coming every day. We're as real as real going to get. Oh, I'm going to tell you that they make some magic stuff. You go to the gym five minutes a day or 10 minutes a day. Oh, you're going to lose it. That ain't the case. Oh yeah, you got to get it in to drop it off. Is the way I look at it, we keep it real, but not comping real. That's right. Herb. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> oh. <sighs> All right, let's get the set in here. You know what I'm starting to look really forward to? What's that? I'm looking forward to the bulk. After we get good and cut down, and we're decent, we feel like we're ready for it. I'm looking forward to those up macros and meals. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, that's the one right there, buddy. If I do any more, I'm gonna have myself an accident. Damn. And believe me, folks, you don't wanna see that. Whew. I'm going for the high rep, low weight, boy, with my booty. <laughs> Dude, how, how is your glutes doing from the leg day workout, buddy? Sore. 
Uh, I woke up, took a step, and said, oh shit. <laughs> My sore wretch. Yeah. All right, folks, moving on. Under to the, the Cable Blaster 8000. It whooped me. <sighs> All right, on to the cables, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I'm going to start out at about 45, 40 pounds. I'm going to go to 40 pounds. Sounds just fine. That might be light. <laughs> we used to be die hard fans of bench press, flat bench. <laughs> And doing it all the old school way. But getting older, we find that these cables right here will make you sore no matter what. Yeah, so that makes make you hurt. Injuries too much. Yeah, this is super mm -hmm. light. We're going to get it in with this lightweight. Mm, get it in. Nice chest break weight. Squeeze. Try to touch your wrist. Oh, yeah. And we always do three variations. You'll see he has the set to where he's pulling from up down. We'll do from down up and also pull straight from the middle. At the 25th rep, you start feeling it in your chest really bad. <laughs> Only after the 25th one. It's all it takes. <laughs> and that's when you, when you feel it from the top to the bottom, you know it's working. Oh, yeah. <sighs> top to the bottom, the bottom. <laughs> You start pumping you up. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of different variations of doing this. I used to put one leg forward, as most cats do. Every other set put your leg. But lately, I've been keeping my feet even like yeah. old Johnny here. And I notice when I do that, I'm leaning forward. I'm getting a way better pump, stretch, everything. Yeah, you can feel it dead at your chest. Right at the bottom of your titty line, where your nipplets are. Mm-hmm. Ain't no more titties over here. That's right, titties are gone. Mm. That's one of my favorite movies, too. But I can watch oh, Sling Blade. I can watch that on repeat all day long. Monster and Basket. <laughs> <sighs> That's how I feel. That's how I leave the gym. Yeah. Mm, boy, little chest. Mm. You're gonna Please, need either an ambulance yeah. or a hearse. <laughs> Gotta get them mustards and just get right after you let them get through. <sighs> Ooh. Boy, chest day is killing the day, buddy. Oh, I know, I feel it. <laughs> yep, time to pump that up to oh, yeah. 50 pounds. Oh, yeah, it's got a little straining and grunting going on there. This is when it gets harder. <sighs> So Carl, what are you doing with that hammer in your hand? I don't know. I just kind of woke up by holding it. Some people call it the guy's blade. That's a good one. I call it the guy's blade. Yes, I do. Boy, you imagine you get on the chest. You like this. You know something People funny? call it this style, but I like to call it puppy style. Mm. Oh, Carl. You know what I find really funny? <clears throat> We've been getting a lot of feedback from people that we know watching our channel, <sighs> even people we didn't even know was watching us. And they said our show is really funny. And we're not putting on a front. No, this you, is the way we are. <laughs> what you see is what you get. And I find myself trying to think of stuff funny now that I know that we're on camera. And it, it doesn't work. I can't work. do it. All I can do is just be us, you know? Yeah. I can't come up with something funny on tap like that. No, you know? I, I just actually, I'd be better for getting the cameras there. It's 2023. My feelings are actually kind of hurting because we were funny. So I was like, we're not trying to be funny. No, this is just you where know? we are. Hurt my feelings. You can't be doing that in no. 2023. You got to worry about folks' emotions and the feelings. No, they, <laughs> Somebody hijacked the sign on Highway 63. You seen that? Uh-uh. Yeah. It's one of them road signs. Drive on by and it's got a big Biden on the sign. <laughs> Come on now. Posted it all over the Facebook. I was like, Jesus Christ. I don't know why they would do that. I don't know either. Good. I mean, that some bitch is doing a great job. Yeah. I have less money now than I ever have. I, I, I heard, I watched the news this morning. I was reading all the comments and stuff and it said, uh, Trump, loud caps everybody and says if he was in the office and if the election wasn't rude none of this shit would have been happening and the millions of people would be alive now and in the comment section is where i was just like 
blown away by these people that are like, Trump was the worst thing ever happened. I was not spending three and four hundred dollars per week on groceries. Yeah, hey, it didn't cost me two hundred dollars a month on fuel. I mean, I'm not trying to say anybody's better than anybody else. No, I don't but, care about politics, really. But I will tell you that I am struggling my ass off. Oh, it's a check very, I'm having a very I make me some time. money. I shouldn't be struggling. Hell, I got a family that makes really good money. They struggling as well. Everybody's struggling. That's what they want. They want you struggling so you can depend on them. So if y'all are struggling out there, y'all don't have to feel alone. We all. That's struggling why, together. That's why we try to show you on our meal prep. Our meal prep yesterday, total cost on the whole thing for a solid week was $23. That's it. So it's not like if you go to the store every day and buy food, yeah, you're going to spend way more than that. Now, I'm in the same boat. Yeah. We went to Harder down the road, they was having a meat Yeah, sale. I mean, that two gram, it was 30 bucks. But, right. That was enough to make hamburgers, patties for the whole week for me and my wife. Well, I mean, and you, put an, the half of the block up for another day. You, you know. will see me eat beef, but it's not as often. Huh? No, it's not for us either. Like I said, that's hamburger meat. Everything else in my refrigerator and freezer is chicken. We did some chicken eating pools. We're going to be sprouting feathers in another well, year. I mean, this according to my. My doctor and my liver, my blood doesn't let me metabolize beef the way I should. So I have to stay off it as much as I can. Yep. Yeah. They say once a month. Treat yourself once a month to a good steak. Yeah. If the doctors ever told me that, I'd just be dead. It ain't gonna be like I'm you know, our last, my last uh, safety man. We had a meeting and this dude was telling us how we was gonna have this at Christmas. We were gonna get steak dinner, two steak dinner. And I told him, I said, loud as, yeah, loud as hell. I said, I think I'm gonna pass on the tube steak dinner. <laughs> I don't want none of that. Yeah, I'm not sold on that one. Yeah, boss. we don't need no tube steak with special gravy today, baby. You keep that for yourself. <sighs> I'm serious, I thought I was gonna die. Everybody was laughing, he didn't even get it. That was a great guy, man. <laughs> I don't want no tube steak. <laughs> Not today, boss. My bad, boss. Uh, I've told that safety man, no means no, bro. Yeah. The plan. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Boy, you flying through them veins. Uh, there you go. <sighs> Some bitch is trying to take off. Mm. <laughs> the dodo bird flight plan. <laughs> oh yeah. I was catching a gust over here. Ah. Mm. Mm. Ah, look at all that grunting going on. <laughs> it hurts. Mm. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! That's why it hurts. I'm gonna put that in slow motion and turn the sound wide open so you hear. It. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> in slow motion. With the sound turned up, what you hear is, oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Look at that. <laughs> oh, I missed to take a step forward. In this case, I got the, my foot yeah, forward. It's a little bit. I'm not very much weight. myself. We got about 35 pounds on each side. You know, we also have... notice we drop it down to where we're about level with our shoulders. Yeah. And spread out like butterflies. This one we haven't done a lot, so we're not putting much weight on it until we get used to it. We just bitches. Yeah. We just some sexy bitches. Excuse my language, folks. Yeah, we know everybody in America is strong enough, so y'all don't have to come in and say, oh, you weak bitches. We know we are. But we're in the getting shape. We're not into power lifting and trying to outdo everybody, that's for sure. When we get out of our vehicle, we leave we go at the door. Oh, yeah. They don't do no good. <sighs> well, I am, I am getting moist. It's getting moist in here, y'all. They got the heater turned up a little bit in here. Oh, they got it on 72 today. <clears throat> You're going to get swamp ass in Louisiana no matter where you go. When it hits about 68 degrees outside in southern Louisiana, people start freaking out. They put on their snow tires and sweaters, scarves. We're not used to cold weather. Ooh, you like that. There you go. Mm. Talk dirty to me now. That's right. Mm. 
<sighs> Go to your happy place. <laughs> Good set, boy. Good set. That hurt. Tough. It felt good. Everybody be doing it. That's right. Sometimes you gotta suffer through the pain in order to get the results you want, people. It's not gonna always feel good and be easy. Dieting seven days a week. So, yeah, royally. <laughs> but we used to let ourselves have a skip. I mean, a cheat day, but a cheat day only does is build the fat back up, so you have to burn it off the rest of the week. That's it, man. That straw <laughs> crunch messed me up. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, my lesson loss. Ain't nobody gonna get my piece of cornbread. That's right. You gonna eat your cornbread. <laughs> I know you ain't talking about me, you no know, goddamn cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you can't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ain't nobody gonna get my cornbread. <laughs> ain't nobody eat my cornbread. Folks, that's a movie called Life with Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence. If you haven't seen that, you got you have you to, watch to watch it. it. Don't you know, watch it around your children. It does have a lot of curse in it, but man, it's so funny. <sighs> I gotta let them know where we're getting all these references from because these yeah. people are gonna swear up and down we crazy as hell. But well, we are, but we're gonna do one more of these and then we're gonna drop it to the bottom. Oh yeah. One more set sounds good to me, buddy. I'm definitely burn, burn. My chest is getting a very oh. decent pump right now. I'm happy with it. <sighs> yeah, that man's going slow, he's controlling the weight, no rocking back and forth, perfect form, man. <sighs> Yes, indeed. Now you can't be grunting that loud. You're going to scare off our viewers. Well, I mean. <laughs> I can't. I, I'm, I'm doing it too. I'm not. If you're doing this and you're not grunting, you ain't doing enough. I'm sorry. If you notice, when we first got over here on this cable, we had it set up high. And once from high down low, it's to work on the bottom of your titties right here. Get rid of that fat on your lower chest, which I have a lot of. Yeah, me too. Going up midway like this is for hitting directly in the front, up and down the center of your chest. Yeah. And we're about to switch it after I finish this set. Bottom so is top low. Shelf. That's it. Bottom is your top shelf right here. I skipped that my whole life until recently. We figured out how to do them from the butt end line at work. And I'm noticing a good difference doing yeah. it. I see a difference on your chest for sure, man. <clears throat> so, Sean, thank you, buddy. Yeah, it's a lot different. We'll be interviewing harder. my buddy Sean before too long also. Yeah, it's harder to grow the top top shelf of your chest. Oh. It really is to make it stick out. It'll stick out while you're working out, but a lot of times it goes away quickly when you lose your pump. Mm. And our goal, really, we want to be able to run a 5K and be able to go to the beach, take our shirt off, and not be embarrassed. Said, I've never been to the beach in my entire life, take my shirt off, and not you know, be self-conscious. Since junior high, we've always the fat kid. I'm always a fat kid on the beach with a shirt on. Yeah. Oh. We have deep-seated issues that get us in here early in the morning every day. <laughs> But that's the truth. There's a lot of people out there that grew up being picked on and stuff like that, feeling self-conscious about themselves. And you gotta start somewhere. Another reason I started working out early in the mornings was Nobody. because yeah, there's no one here. If you notice in our videos, it's just me and Johnny in here. No one's come in here yet. We've been at it for almost an hour now. So it's nice to have a little privacy and we're not being rude by filming people that don't want to be filmed. Right. And it just gives you a, a second to get into the gym and put your head in that space it needs to be in to get yourself through all these workouts. <clears throat> Ooh, Lord. Same thing goes at home. If you're at home with kids and you have a hard time getting some quiet time to yourself, which most parents do, get up before they get up and use that time and utilize it for your workouts in the morning. That work, that home workout routine video is gonna be coming up soon. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. I'd say probably not this weekend, but next. Yeah. 
but we're gonna work on that. I started off working out at home with two cans of peas and a Tommy Little VHS tape. Yeah. When I was about 13 years old, you know. You know. A <laughs> gallon of oil does a cooking oil does a oh. wonders. Ooh. Have any of you tried this movement? And if so, let us know down in the comments below if you have any tips on how we can do this better. What angle or however. Yeah. You know. Let us know, man. We're all about feedback. For all you new subscribers out there, welcome to the Natty family. Glad to have you. And I hope we can help you out along your own fitness journey. Yes, indeed. So all we're doing is inviting you along the ride for ours. And we're still going through trial and error. We do not know everything, but we know a little bit. We know how to pick things up and put them down. At least. My goal used to be to wait, to move 10,000 pounds per uh, gym exercise. But I mean, right here we're moving. If you do, it's 25 pounds for 10 reps on each arm, that's 500 pounds. So it doesn't take long. Two, three sets, that's 1,500 pounds. I thought you meant all at one time, bro. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> I may have found me strong with him. Shoot, oh, Brian Shaw and Eddie Hall can probably do it in about two lifts. Them son of the guns are freaks of nature, bro. Talk about. I didn't know how big Brian Shaw was until I saw that video of him walking on stage with all them body blur. That dude's massive. It made him look like little rag dolls, bro. Eddie Hall is massive, and oh, yeah. Shaw makes him look like a baby. <clears throat> All I know is if they ever walk in the room and want my cornbread, they can have it. I ain't about yeah, to fight Yeah, I'll make them something if they need it. <laughs> you going to you cornbread, muscle? <laughs> it's on, then. <laughs> Take his, too, son. That's yes, right. <laughs> what if you say three pounds? I'm going to make them up for you. All right. Just don't put that big ass hand on top of my Ooh. head. Well, I had a look to make sure you didn't add no weight on there. I'm either getting No, tired. I did not. And it feels heavy. <laughs> He's getting tired. All right. I found out the set, but I got two. This set and one more. You see, when we do these, we're trying to keep our arms as straight as we can, but you do not want to straighten your arms all the way out. No, yourself. you don't want to lock the elbows. But when you're going up, you're move, move, moving only your upper chest and your shoulders. Yeah. And really, you're trying to really flex that upper chest and not use your shoulders. It flex and going up. Release. Go up. Go down. Go down. We're going to pump you up. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm hot. He's front. We here to pump you up. <laughs> I love Bill Hader right now. Oh, I know. Bill Hader got me. It's funny. His own little impression is fun. Oh, what? I'm not trying to go slow on purpose. It just, just hurts. And then we do it no kind of way. It just hurts. We got one more exercise to do on these cages. I'm about to be like Tinkerbell. I'm going to need everybody out there watching the clap so I can have more power to go up. Because we don't clap if you believe. Man. We seem like we get better stabilizer muscles. Oh yeah. Activation on here. So what are we doing, boss? We're gonna do these to 50 pounds to start. It's kind of light. This is basically decline bench. Oh yeah, the press downs. Yeah. Cable press downs, everybody. Yes. This is control. You stabilize the muscles. Activate better. Oh yeah. This also helps you See, develop that is, diamond on the bottom of your chest. This is all you get when you do it with a decline. But when you get this, you fill it at the bottom of your chest. Right. So we're showing the other way again. See that right, right there? there? That's your shoulders right there, folks. Your shoulders. When you do this, that's chest on. That's right. It's all under the control of the weight. Controlling your movement. 
You cannot change positions on these cables at all right now and get buku different workouts and hit different muscles. Yeah, you can go straight out if you want to and get different, but we're, that's not what we're working. This right here make you sweat. Good set, bro. I wasn't dropping the third out in that just time. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, might have not been coming out, but the show is pressing up against that inner wall. Whew. Whew. I went to a urologist because I, you know, getting old, and oh, they want to poke the project everywhere. And well, no, I just lost the energy, so they uh, he did a blood test. One of my doctors did a blood test, and my testosterone level was 112, and I think average is like 700. That's, and they said it was probably like that my whole life. Like it's three to four hundred for your average human. Well, no, it's the scale. The scale they give me is up to fifteen hundred. Cool. And mine was way low. It's over nine thousand. And I think they want you to be at about seven. But since I was growing up little, I always had. I could have wore a bra basically. Oh yeah, same here. I can. I took my shirt off right now. Everybody laughs. Yeah, and they, uh, doctor told me they wanted to test it. So the first thing I do when I get in there, the woman, you know, tells me it's time for the rectal archaeology right off the bat, you know. And I'm thinking, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, small hand. Yeah, well, you know, they do a test, blood test, and blood test says prostate fine. And then they're going to go in there digging for ancient gold from in India or whatever the hell. <laughs> Bend over, it's going to be cold. No shit. Don't worry, when it's all over, you, you can still call yourself a man. <laughs> that's my tonsils. Get your arm out, you know. Uh, but that's things that happen when you get older. That's it, part of life. <sighs> too many people are too hard-headed to go to the doctor and pay for it in the end, you know. Don't be too hard-headed, hard people. Take care of your health. Take care of yourself. Run 70 pounds per arm down. There you go. Yeah. I was getting serious now. Woo hoo. What's that, man? Beautiful. Yeah, we try to go to failure every single time. I've been doing that my whole life. Well. Let me get emotional over here. <laughs> I'm coming up on 40 myself, man. It's about I'm about to go have to go take that same journey. Yeah. And I know my testosterone levels are getting lower because I'm getting more and more tired by the month, it seems like. Ooh, my lower, Johnny. Like we said earlier, the one come out. Go deeper. I just said there's a are we playing who wants to be a millionaire? Do I need to phone a friend or whatever? Because I'm at the limit. That's it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh I definitely can can tell just in the look how much I've lost. It's just funny how your El Fato Bellio is the last thing to go over. Well oh yeah. Well you gotta think it took fifty three years of I know. hard work and neglect to get where we are. Yeah, now. you're right. Thirty seven for me. It's gonna take a little minute to get off this excess body fat without doing steroids or any other kind of things, you know? <sighs> oh my lord, boy. Definitely feeling those. <sighs> mm. About to get one more set of these in. Try for 100 pounds on each arm. 100 pounds, hell no, I'm dropping it down my next week. I'm going to 100. Woo. And then, well, now I gotta do it too, man. I don't want nobody no. to laugh at me. Well, I am getting better at editing. I'm gonna make it look like you got 10 pounds. 10 pounds on there. Oh yeah. I'd have to say that shoulder is fully healed now. <laughs> Almost though. Good. It's a strong man right there, boys and girls. <laughs> But we don't always go light. Sometimes you got to get it in. 
You gotta struggle a little bit and strain a little bit. There you go. Game over. <laughs> yeah, Nate said I'm gonna drop them down way low. Just kill it. Oh yeah. You might have to do our special, put on get on the bar. I might have to do something. I don't know if I can get it up. I mean get it down. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, you got this. I ain't gonna lie. If it was any more than that, you play it, boy. Oh, oh you got this. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now I'm gonna drop it down to what we started with and it's gonna feel like paperweight. Hell yeah. We're gonna get a good deep burn with it like that though. It's a jet self Jedi mind trick, folks. If you don't know how much weight you're doing, you can do it with that with ease. But if you know in, in your mind what it is, you struggle from the get-go. But if you must lift, how do you must fall? Back when I got back into it, my goal was 225 on the bench. I just wanted to bench that and just struggle, struggle, struggle. Then I got it. Then I thought I was Superman. I was doing 250 on the incline and I had had a car wreck and I was just going jerking and jerking when I did. That's when my disc let go for the first time in my neck. Ooh. Got the shots and then did it on. There you go, get it in. Get it in deep. <coughs> yeah, push it. <coughs> That's it. I am damn good set. Oh, I can see you're pumped up now. Oh yeah. So the people that 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 big old burly man chest right there. Oh, yeah. You gotta see this folks. Get up there to him. You see that line all the way up now? Yeah. That's that comes from hitting all these different angles. Ooh, it's pumped up. Looking looking good, my man. Feeling good. <sighs> man, you keep going looking this good and working out with me. Our wives are gonna get jealous of each other. Oh, huh? I know. Huh? <sighs> 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 Nice tall, tired, Bob. Yeah. Oh, mercy. I think this is it for me right here. Well, I'm telling you. I want to make sure I get that good deep burn. Get that pump. These are kind of. See how they squeeze them together? That's how you get it in. You don't want to leave nothing on the table. You want to get it in, and that's what we're just doing. Woo. And you know what, everybody? That was our chest day. And we really appreciate everybody that likes and subscribes and follows us. If not, please do. You know, there's a, it's real easy. Just take your finger and hit that subscribe button down below. And remember everybody, get, get it in. in.